What is happening webheads? Welcome back to another very informative and exciting Marvel Spider-Man 2 video. As we inch closer and closer to the game's launch on October 20th, more news just continues to come to the light. Most recently, we got a very deep and comprehensive look at all the accessibility features that Marvel Spider-Man 2 is going to be including. A couple of developers over at Insomniac, Michelle Zarilla and Sam Schaffel shared on the PlayStation blog a bunch of these new accessibility features and how players are going to be able to fully customize their experience when they play the game. And they start off by talking about one of the coolest new features that are going to be added that wasn't included in the first two games, and that is challenge level modifiers and gameplay assists. We know from Marvel Spider-Man PS4 and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales that they all included different levels of difficulty that we could choose to experience the game in. Friendly Neighborhood and Friendly were for more of the beginners, Amazing was for the more middle of the road, Spectacular was a little bit more of a challenge, and then once you beat the game, you would then unlock the ultimate difficulty which presented the most challenging experience. But now with Marvel Marvel Spider-Man 2, they're kicking things up a notch and truly allowing fans to have a lot more customization. They're introducing this all new aspect called challenge level modifiers, which let you customize three aspects of gameplay, enemy health, enemy damage, and stealth awareness. And with these added settings, you can mix and match for all the preferences that you want. So say you want a much more challenging stealth experience, but don't necessarily want the enemy's health and the damage that they give to be that much more difficult. You can tweak these settings to get exactly what you want down to the last fine minute details. Some things that were included in the previous games that are going to be returning in Marvel Spider-Man 2 is the chase assist. It'll work a lot like the previous two Marvel Spider-Man games, where it'll be reducing the target's top speed when you're doing a chase scene and increases the time windows that they'll have before they actually escape. You'll also have the option with quick time events, actually change the repeated button presses from taps to holds, and I believe these will all be optional. It's like if you like the multiple repeated button taps, I think you can still keep that, but if you wish to change it to hold a button when you want to complete an action instead of repeatedly tapping a button, you will have the option to change that if you desire. Another very convenient feature that we saw Insomniac incorporate once we switched to the PlayStation 5 was the shortcuts feature, especially when it comes to photo mode, where you can have the option to just click one of the buttons on the D-pad to just automatically bring you to the photo mode. Instead of just actually pausing the game and scrolling down to photo mode, you just press one of the buttons on the D-pad and boom, you're in photo mode. You can take an epic photo. But photo mode isn't the only option that you can choose to include on the shortcuts. Say you want to have the option to toggle high contrast of the game on and off just really quickly at your disposal, you can choose to have that on as well. Another all new feature making its way into Marvel Spider-Man 2 is a unique feature that Insomniac first utilized in their previous title Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is that players can now assign game speed up to 70%, 50%, and 30% of the real-time rate to shortcut buttons. And this will allow you to really slow down the action and give you more time to react to multiple gameplay scenarios. So if you're finding yourself having a slower reaction time when playing the game and you just want to have more of a window open to react to things going on in the game, then this feature is for you. Now if we go to insomniac.com, there's an article that was posted asking what accessibility options does Marvel Spider-Man 2 feature? And Insomniac provided a much more comprehensive list of new features that are going to be included that are bound to get you excited. So back when I was talking about the challenge level modifiers, the all new feature that Insomniac is going to be incorporating in this game, we'll be able to adjust enemy health, enemy damage, stealth awareness, game speed, chase assist, simplify puzzles, dodge parry timing, enhanced auto aim, quick time event auto complete, and auto heal. And boy, the customization is real. For those of you who thought Miles Morales and Marvel Spider-Man 2018 was a little bit on the easier side, I think this can ease any of your worry when it comes to Marvel Spider-Man 2. Another thing that fans were a little bit concerned about regarding this game was the subject of web swinging. And judging by this little blog that they posted, it looks like they're incorporating an all new feature called Swing Assists, where we'll be able to customize steering assistance. And the higher we have it allows for a lot more easier web swinging while lowering it will reduce the amount of resistance and cause physics to have a greater effect on the web lines while swinging. There's also gonna be a slow corner time scale, slower game speed during corner corner transitions to reduce the disorientation when whipping around a corner at high speeds. And even it's going to have web line bending. You'll be able to have the option to toggle on or off the ability for the web lines to bend while walking on them. And for those of you who are massive fans of the web swinging from the Spider-Man 2 movie tie-in game with Tobey Maguire, these all new swinging features are just bound to make you smile because it looks like they're incorporating a lot more physics based web swinging if you choose to toggle that option on or off. And I'm really glad that they're giving us as fans 
fans the option to have a much more easier experience or to have a lot more challenging experience where physics come into play. And that was really my only thing with the prior two games. Yes, I love the web swinging in the prior two games, but I did find myself sometimes wanting a little bit more of a challenging experience where the laws of physics really hinder what you can and can't do sometimes. And I'm all for having an easier experience, but for more robust and seasoned gamers, it's nice to see that there's an option to make it a little more, more difficult and not so much of a breeze. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video where I highlight some of the very key features that are gonna be featured in Marvel Spider-Man 2. I unfortunately didn't cover every single thing that was listed on either of these blogs, but I don't really wanna bore you guys too much, so I'll put the link in the description to both of these websites where you can all further look at this on your own if you wanna know more. But guys, definitely let me know down below in the comments section what new feature are you most excited to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Thwip that like button if you got something out here today and so this video can be pushed out to more and more people throughout the community. And lastly, make sure that you're a subscriber to the channel if you love all things related to Spider-Man, especially when it comes to Marvel Spider-Man 2. Thank you all so much for watching. See ya, chumps. See ya, chump.